Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to build a simple time loading bar. Now what you can use this in is in mini games, hunger games, or even a hide and seek map. Just to give an example, let's say in a hide and seek map, you want your hiders to know when the seeker is going to be let out to find them. So you can have this loading bar here, which will show when the seeker will be let out through a door. Vice versa will also let the seeker know when he can go outside the door as well. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and get into this. Now each light indicates a certain amount of time they have have left until it reaches the end now you don't have to do all 15 lights I'll have a big list on the bottom so you don't have to do all the math and everything like that for each time that that each individual light has so once I flip down that lever over there our timer will start I'm going to speed up the video because this is going to take a very long time roughly around two minutes for every single one of these lights to come on so boop. And there you guys have it all 15 lights have come on it's roughly about a minute and 56 seconds but i just say about two minutes because that's just a lot easier to say now it is very easy to reset this thing all we have to do is just flip up the lever and it will start to reset itself the only problem with it is it's going to take the same amount of time it took to put the items in the other dropper for it to go back into the other dropper so it's going to take another minute and 56 seconds for all our lights to go away but let's go ahead and look at the redstone as you can see there's not much to it all i'm using is two droppers this dropper pushed the items into this one lighting up the lights and now what's happening is all these items are getting pushed back over into this dropper thus turning off all our lights so what you can do is right over here once this light comes on over here you can send power from this redstone into a door to open up the door or close the door or do whatever you would like it to do maybe you want to have it inside of hunger games where you turn this thing on and then it, and then it shows up in the top area so people know where the person is but once it gets to that last light it will open up a chest that will have an awesome diamond sword or something in it so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right so normally i give a spacing for my build but since it's a loading bar you're going to understand where it has to go once we put down the lamps so the resources we're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons two droppers 15 redstone lamps five redstone comparators and 19 redstone repeaters 30 redstone dust one redstone torch one lever two furnaces we are also going to need two non-stackable items i like using wooden shovels because they're the easiest things to get now if you're going to be doing all 15 lamps you're going to need at least 576 items like i said there's a big list in the description below so you don't have to do all that math yourself i'll have all the times how much items you're going to need depending on how much time you're going to need also if you want to extend it out all you have to do is just put another timer right next to the other timer and once it reaches the end have it activate the next row of lights so maybe you need to go to 10 minutes just keep adding more and more rows in and you should be absolutely fine so once you have gathered all your resources we're going to start off by putting down our lamps because that's the easiest thing to get in so we're going to count over 15 blocks this is in case you're doing all 15 if you're not like i said just follow the list in the description below to lower the time or make the time even more so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Next, we're gonna place fifteen lamps right above our blocks like this. And then we're gonna go to the inside right here and place repeaters going into all of these blocks. Then we're gonna take out some redstone and place redstone behind all of our repeaters. Then once we reach the end, this is going to be our first light right here. Or if you want to make that your first light over there, we're going to go down there and do it. But right here, this is going to be my first light. We're going to put a comparator going into this redstone dust like that. Next, place a dropper right here facing towards you. Make sure it is a dropper, not a dispenser, or it will not work. And then we're going to face another dropper going into this dropper by going like that. Next, what I want you to do is go into your first dropper. Now, since I'm doing all 15 lights, we're going to fill up this first dropper right here with all of our items. There should be a total of 576. So we're going to have to fill up the entire dropper with 64 stacks of whatever items you're going to be using. I'm going to be using dirt because it is the easiest thing to get your hands on. Next up, we're going to break down two blocks next to this dropper and this dropper right here and place in redstone dust right here and right here. Next, take out your comparators once again and face a comparator going towards this way into your redstone dust like that and face another one going this way. It's going to be the same thing on both sides, guys. So I'm just going to do this side first over here. So right behind this comparator, we're going to place in our furnace. Go inside your furnace and place your non-stackable item in. 
Then right next to this piece of redstone dust, we're going to place another redstone dust right here. So it should go up like that. And then place another piece of redstone dust next to your comparator. Make sure you put this comparator into subtraction mode. You'll know it's in subtraction mode if the front light right here is lit up. And now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side as well. So put your comparator into subtraction mode. Put a furnace behind it. Go inside your furnace. Place your non-stackable item inside of it. Place a piece of redstone dust up here. And another piece of redstone dust going into the side of your comparator. Then coming out the back of these two droppers, we're going to place in two more comparators going this way. Come up a block in front of both of your comparators with redstone torches on top of them. Place a block above your redstone torches like this. And then place two more going this way, one, two. And put a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Next, place blocks right in front of these two repeaters. Now, what these repeaters will do, they will lock these droppers. So once all the items are done funneling, it won't keep making that tick, 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 tick sound from the droppers because that can get very, very annoying. Next up, come back over here to your comparators. I'm going to place a block right above this redstone dust right here like that. Do not place it right in front of the comparator just yet or else it will start up the process. And now what we're going to have to do is face a sticky piston down into this block. So come up two more right here and then face a sticky piston down like that. And we're going to do the same thing we just did here on this side as well. So go ahead and put a block right here, a block over, break this block, come up two more, break this one and place a sticky piston facing downwards. Next up, what we're going to do is take blocks and bring blocks from this sticky piston right here, going all the way down over to this one, and then stop right here and place a redstone torch here instead. Next, we're going to take out some redstone dust and place redstone dust along all of these blocks. Now, if we send power to any piece of this redstone dust right here, it will start up our loading timer. But I'm going to place mine right here, so we're going to go up a block right here and place a lever down. So this is going to be my startup right here. And now all we have to do is just bring power from this block up to this redstone dust right here. So just come up two blocks like this and then bring your redstone dust from that block up to here and that is it guys you are completely done so once i flip down this lever our loading bar should start up so flip down the lever and as you can see our loading bar already started so i'm just going to skip through the video once again because this is going to take around two minutes for this entire thing to fill up I almost forgot I actually also wanted to just add in a door just to show you what you can do with this thing. So let's go ahead and just take out an iron door just really quickly. And we're going to come right over here to this last light right here for the end of our loading bar. And we're just going to break down right under here and put two pieces of redstone dust going like this into this block. And let's go ahead and place an iron door like that. So once it reaches the end, our iron door should open up. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a border around my iron door so it looks nice. There we go. So once our loading bar hits the end right here, this iron door should open up. Alright guys, so we're nearing the end, so I decided to slow down the video back to its normal state. So once that light comes on, our iron door should open up. So boop, and as you can see, our iron door would open up. So if you wanted to make a hide and seek map and have a certain amount of time so people can see how much time you have left until the seeker goes seeks the hiders, or the hiders know when the seeker's coming, then you can go ahead and do that. And like I said, it's very easy to reset it. All you do is just flip up the lever, and it will reset back to its normal state. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a simple timer loading bar. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.